Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I wanna to talk about the new connected ride cradle for BMW. So if you wanna get my thoughts on this, stick around. Dang, this looks like a cliff. I mean, this looks like a, this is a cliff. All right, I can do it, I can do it. Hang on, let me figure out which way we go. I think we stay, I don't know. Yeah, no big deal. All right, so the connected ride cradle. Man, there's been a lot of talk about this. Are they doing away with the, the nav units? Is this a replacement for the nav unit? And there's a lot of Chinese companies that are selling a, a cradle that you can put in place of a nav unit to, to hold, hold your phone. Uh, I really wasn't interested in that. So if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I did a little test of the BMW Connected Ride app, and I used the routing that that system uses compared to a NAV6. And I don't think you'll find anyone that'll argue that say this isn't faster. I mean, even if you use Google Maps or Apple Maps or whatever, the NAV6 is a little clunky and it's a little slow, and I found that in my test. So I liked it. but. Overall, I just wasn't comfortable with leaving my phone out and some of those things. So when I saw this thing advertised, it caught my attention. So I went ahead and put my name on a list and it finally came in. Now, it's not in the box, it's already on the bike. So first thing I'll tell you, this is what you get for directions. So you're gonna have to go to YouTube to sort it out because this did nothing for me. Uh, there's a little screw in the, in the right hand corner the bottom you loosen that and it's got a couple adjustments to put your phone in and then you have to use the BMW connected app and I'm going to try to show you that one that would be the, the little one right here that one and, and that's where everything happens once you install it, and it's installing it is just as simple as putting a nav unit in there. You take the little dust cover off, you pop it in there. When you turn the bike on, it recognizes it. You then go to the app and say connect it. It links the two up, and that's where the magic starts happening. And I will say it was pretty good. Same way you get to it from the wonder wheel as you do the nav unit, just hold up on the on the program button and it swaps over and you can scroll and you got your bike info and you got everything. This little direction card, man, it didn't do anything for me. I even scanned the little QVC code or, or QC code and it didn't get anything. I mean, it, it was a different language. It didn't work for me. Um, I've seen and heard all kinds of things on prices. I got mine for 269 I think is what I paid. Got a little bit of discount because I, I buy a lot of stuff from my dealer. So let's take a look at, at what it like and, and the functions you get with it. Okay, so this little knob right there, this little knob, you loosen it, take it all the way out, and this loose does both loosen up. Then the phone just drops in there. And you see, I do have an OtterBox case, so it doesn't maybe fit perfect. And you make some adjustments, and I could probably get a little better fit if I took the OtterBox off. We'll snug that up, and then you tighten this back. All right, so now we're gonna open up the BMW Connected app. So now with the menu button, Hold it up, and then this light goes from TFT to nav, just like if you're using your navigation unit. Now you have control of this. Now everywhere you see this little arrow, you can move the wonder wheel. There's the, see, one more time on the inside. Now from the inside, I can enter an address, and I can just type away. I can go back, I can go down to recent, points of interest, favorites or the settings and there's spoken directions 
um, traffic. So here's display navigation difference on the TFT. So if you want to turn that on, we'll turn that on. I, I like it being on the TFT as well. Route options, route type. You want fast, you want short, you want efficient, you want winding. Avoidances, you want to avoid highways, tollways, ferries, whatever the case may be. So it's got some good options and it's, it is relatively quick. So if we go back, now we drop down, there's your bike info. You got tire pressures and you got fuel levels and you got mileages and all those things that you want. Trip, this is where you're connected and it's, it's already connected. So if you go into it, there it shows you, I've got it set for charging. So you can set to where you don't want to charge. Uh, I'm not going to charge it or just different settings. There's a little tutorial there. We can disconnect the cradle. I'm, I'm not sure if I take the cradle off, if I have to disconnect it, I'm not sure what happens there. So now in that BMW connected app, you do need to update the maps and keep them current, but it is really very simple and it is quick. So, um, there's just a there's a mall down the street, Lock and Terra. And that's how quick it got. So 13 miles away, and it should, because I turned that on, it's gonna set it. Sorry. There I can end it. I can add a new waypoint. I can skip a waypoint. So I'm I'm pretty sure I'm going to like what I see. Route preview. I mean, there's just a lot to play with and take a look at. So I think it's a, a really good option. Okay. So initial thoughts are, I, I think it's, I think it's well worth the $270 I paid for it. I think for local rides, going to the bank or running around town and, finding gas stations or whatever the case may be, I, I think it could be fine. I think for most traveling, uh, if you're going city to city or something like that, I think it would be fine. If you're doing more complicated rides, uh, iron butt thing or some sort of rally riding where you're doing 15 or more waypoints, I'm not sure how you're gonna do that. I'm not sure it's capable. I'm a huge fan of the Nav6 and Basecamp computer to do stuff like that. But for a lot of people, I think it's a great option. Uh, if you just notice on my bike and you're new to the channel, you'll notice I run two nav units. I do that for rally riding. So I'm gonna continue to use two nav units. I will give this a shot. I, I have a, a rally next month, I believe. And, and I'm gonna try one nav unit in this on the second one. Uh, I, I think it could work. I really like the wireless charging. Uh, on my recent trip to California, I, I believe it or not, forgot a charging cord. So it was, it was in my box and I just didn't want to stop and dig it out. My phone almost died, so I had to shut music off and all those things. So I, I like some of the options I have. Uh, certainly cheaper than buying a new NAV6. And, and it's supposed to work seamlessly with iPhones and for those of you who have an Android. So again, I hope you got something out of the channel. Uh, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit the bell so you be notified next time video comes out. All right, thanks, have a great day, be safe. One last thing, if you're still watching, uh, I have two. I committed to it, uh, didn't, didn't remember that I ordered one and I committed to it so I purchased it. So I'm going to see how this goes. Hit me up in the comments if you're interested. Might give one away. Thanks.